Girlfriend, 27 female of 3.5 years, cheated on me, 30 male. I got the ultimate revenge. Patience is ridiculously hard. To all of you who have just found out that your partner has cheated on you, if you're petty and determined like me, here's what to do. This is my story. This seems like roughly seven months ago, my girlfriend of three and a half years started cheating on me. Not only was it emotional cheating, but she had sex with this co-worker two months after they started the emotional affair. The cheating continued fairly frequently until yesterday. Who knows, maybe it will continue, but I don't care. I got my revenge and honestly, it feels fan-fucking-tastic. Tupac was right. I had mentioned that it seems like it was approximately seven months ago that it started. It could have been more, but it's doubtful. I have a good amount of evidence pointing to a certain week within Julie 2018 as to when it started. Fun fact. It looks like I found out within the first week of it happening. I stayed quiet because at that point, I wasn't certain if it was just attention seeking, which I don't like but I'm fine with, or something more. So it's not like I found out right away. Yes, it was the start of it all, but I didn't know what would happen. I didn't want to come off as that type of guy. After just a few days though, it was pretty obvious at that point what was going on. The reason why I didn't confront her is because I am of the opinion that if a person can't communicate what they feel is lacking in the relationship, then why bother being in a relationship? That's when I knew it was over, but it hurt because I had been with her for a few years already. This was tough to swallow. I don't want you to think, oh, this guy's the man, look what he did, no mercy, etc, etc. Yeah, I didn't have mercy on her but it hurt like hell in the beginning. In any event, I tracked everything. I knew when they were having sex and where, mostly, at least in the beginning. By the second month, I didn't care much anymore. I decided to hook up with a few, three women, one of whom she knew, not very well, but still. But it all paled in comparison to her friend Inn, which wasn't planned. Yes, an actual friend from her inner circle. Her friends are really nice, good quality women. None of them are cheaters. They all despise cheaters. I thought the same was true of my now ex. I guess the whole birds of a feather saying is bullshit, huh? Anyway, they hate cheating to the point where they sometimes mention to one another in conversation that they would stop being friends with one another if they found out someone was cheating. So I did what I thought wasn't going to work. No shot, right? I was going to see if her friend could help me in any way. This friend was always friendly to me, more so than the other friends, but still nothing that stood out. I wanted her to help me so, so, so badly, but I honestly didn't think I'd have a shot like this at all. I thought it was just be a listening ear, something like that. I went to her friend and told her everything, but made her swear not to say a word. She was livid and wanted to say something to my ex. I told her not to, that I had a plan and it was working. She asked what the plan was. I told her, don't worry about it, but it's already been working for a few weeks now. She pressed and I caved. I told her I had been cheating back on her and collecting as much evidence of my cheating as I possibly could in an effort to show my ex sometime in the future. I also told her that this didn't help my feelings, that I was still distraught. As a side note, let me tell you something. Having sex with women you don't care about, or even an emotional affair when you're totally into monogamy, will not make you feel better. It sucks. But f it, I said, I'm sticking with this, because yeah, I'm petty, and yeah, she deserves it. I could not believe it when this girl said she wanted to go all out, in her words, and help me. It was at this moment I had a feeling that not only I was going to physically be with this amazing girl, but that she would take it even further than me. It took a few days of planning, but we got around to it eventually. We did everything, everywhere. We took videos, pics. Her face wasn't showing in any. The reason for this is because it's about proof of me getting back at her. Whether or not this girl plans on telling my ex is entirely her decision. My hope is that she does, as they said in their convos that they wouldn't be friends anymore, and then we can be a thing. Yes, I'm kind of asking you out here. And sorry, I don't have the balls to do it in person. This would be the ultimate f*** you.
and I know N is into f yous when it comes to cheating. Over the past week, I've been leaving some clues as to my devious behavior in order to make my ex suspicious. She caught on very quickly, almost too quickly to be honest. I have a feeling that was due to her own behavior, which was making her suspicious. I let her come to me. I knew it was going to happen. She demanded answers. That's an understatement. I gave them all to her. She asked for my new passcode to my phone. I gave it to her. She saw everything. She's an idiot though, because it was in my regular gallery. What kind of cheater keeps photos in their regular gallery? This was the one thing I didn't think through. LOL, whatever. She then proceeds to tell me about her side gig with her coworker in order to get back at me. I said that's cool, but I already knew that. She was confused at this point, like legit confused. So I told her everything I knew about her and what I did. She flipped a switch, asking me all sorts of questions like why I didn't come talk to her. Why didn't I stop her? Why after all this time I'm just gonna let the relationship go away without trying? Lol A. As if that's my responsibility, B. I said I realist I don't care about hoes and C. Because cheaters almost never change and it's not worth being with a shit person with no good values. And someone who clearly can't communicate for shit. I'm paraphrasing, but you get the point. I walked out like a boss. She was in tears and has been ever since. Her mother actually called me last night, yelling at me. I told her the entire story. She didn't like what I did, but in the end, she understood why I did what I did. There's a lot more to my relationship with her. We spoke about marriage fairly often, about once a month over the past year. It was very hard to do this. I'd give more information, but I'd prefer to stay anonymous. None of my friends know, except for N, who's definitely reading this post now, or will know why or how I broke up with her. I'd prefer it stay with me. Also, I don't plan on replying to any comments. I have simply been waiting months to tell this to the people suffering here. This plan takes mother f***ing commitment and a bit of luck. But in my honest opinion, it is worth it. Especially if your ex-girl is highly emotional sensitive like mine. While I generally don't wish death upon anyone over the past 24 hours, it seems like my ex is about to kill herself. Not literally, but the way she is acting now is scaring some of her family and friends. Special thanks goes to and for helping me with everything. Especially the videos saying shit like this dick is heaven and this is my cock now among a slew of other outrageously dirty things that I didn't know she had in her and propping me up like I'm a sex god. I'm not. Second story. I, 25 female revenge, cheated on boyfriend, 26 male. My boyfriend and I have been dating for four years and things between us have always been good until now. Due to some personal reasons, I was having a hard time with my mental health starting this June. We started fighting more and grew a little distant. At that time, I thought it was just a rough patch in the relationship and that we'll get over it somehow. But then he cheated on me with a friend of his in September. I found out in October through a mutual friend. I wanted to break up, but he begged and cried too much for me to gather the courage to leave. He cut off the friend group entirely because many of them had encouraged him to cheat, started going to therapy, doing all the things he had claimed to do when he asked me to give him a chance. I couldn't bring myself to appreciate his efforts. In my mind, the only thing that mattered was that he slept with someone he had told me not to worry about. I had suspicions that the friend he cheated with liked him and wanted him for herself, but he always brushed it off and said that she was just possessive by nature and didn't mean any harm, nor was he planning on being with her because he loved me. When I asked him why he did it, he said that he was having a rough time due to the problems in our relationship and she was there to listen and help him with his morbid thoughts. Now to the present, we argued after a long time. It got ugly pretty quick and I left to get away from him because I was getting too many intrusive thoughts about how I should bash his head against glass or something like that. I went to a nearby bar where I'm a regular, had a couple of drinks before someone approached me. I knew the guy since we had gone to high school together. We talked and there was an instant connection and I'll be honest, I liked the attention. Let me clarify, it was never my intention to revenge cheat. I've always thought that revenge cheating is stupid and you should break up with the cheater, but Oh well, here we are. I was a little drunk and ended up spilling out everything that had been going on with my boyfriend. He was sympathetic, 
and shared some of his own experiences with getting cheated on. Conversation with him felt so damn good. It felt as if I finally had someone with who I can share my thoughts and opinions without hesitation. He is such a good listener, it's almost ridiculous. We left the bar and walked around before going back to his place. We caught up on some old memories of high school, a touch here and there. One thing led to another, and we were in his bed. I know in the back of my head that I did it to get back at my boyfriend and wouldn't have slept with my old friend if my boyfriend hadn't cheated on me first, even though there was undeniable chemistry between us. The friend did mention that my boyfriend wouldn't like it if he found out, and I vividly remember telling him that I couldn't give a shit. Morning came, we made breakfast together and blasted music before I left. I contemplated whether I should tell him or not, but then I decided to cut to the chase. I sat him down and confessed. He didn't say anything and asked to be left alone for some time. I left for a few days and crashed at a friend's house before he called and asked to talk. When I went back, I was surprised to see him look so terrible, but I kind of felt good too. He was feeling the pain I had to because he didn't respect me enough to not cheat on me. It was so easy for him to cry and beg and then expect me to forgive him. His cheating made my mental health a hundred times worse, and I had to deal with it all by myself. I was the one who had to suffer while he couldn't feel a pinch of what I had to go through. Now he's standing in front of me so powerless, and he knows he can't say shit because he did the same thing. Now he knows what it feels like. My opinion. I'm afraid counseling isn't going to help you anymore. You've both done everything you can to not be together. Ask yourself questions. 1. Do I need this relationship? 2. Can we start a new life? 3. Can we eventually forgive each other and never go back to it again? If the answers are negative, which is most likely, then the right thing to do is to gather your strength and break up. It doesn't matter what your family or friends tell you. This is your life, and you have to live with it. Thank you for listening. If you like this video, please give it a like and write your opinion in the comments. See you soon.